Okay? Teachers love this argument. And, you know, it makes, it basically, it makes even the most useless teacher feel very important. And it's, look, uh, it's true that I didn't shape them into historians. I shaped them into thinking beings. Okay? This is a, a great story. It's very flattering to the egos of many teachers, but is it true? Okay, well, it turns out that in the field of educational psychology, this claim has been tested for over a century. And it's just compl almost completely wrong. Uh, it started off with, with a psychologist named Thorndike, who was sick and tired of hearing everyone tell him about how uh, learning Latin builds mental muscles, an argument that had been made for centuries to justify teaching a dead language. So Thorndike did an experiment where he looked at students who had been assigned Latin versus ones that were not assigned to Latin and saw, did the students who had been assigned to Latin do any better in their non-Latin courses? And they did not. Okay, so this was just an early experiment, probably wouldn't be up to modern standards, but it did inspire a large modern literature. And, what was, uh, and the, uh, the punchline of this literature, which is known as transfer of learning, is that learning is extremely specific. There's almost no evidence that anyone learns how to learn. There's almost no, no evidence that you can teach thinking skills. At best, what, you, what people learn are, ver are, the, are, are the specific material that you teach them. Right? And if there is another subject that is very closely related to it, then that may help them. So lear you know, learning, say, for, uh, for, you know, uh, Spanish may help you learn Italian a little bit. Well, even not that much. But learning, learning Latin does not help you learn math, does not help you learn English, does not help you, know, you know, let's see, well, very little anyway, very, very little. You know, English, English is quite a bit further from Latin. Does not help you learn science, does not help you in almost any of the other subjects that you'll ever encounter, and in general does not help you to be, uh, to be a better worker. Okay, so. And again, so in this literature, uh, you know, two, thing, two things worth throwing out. First of all, the, you know, the, the people in the, this is the field of educational psychology, these people are very heavily biased uh, ideologically in favor of the view that learning, to lear learning how to learn is, exists. Or if you're in the field of educational psychology, you're an academic, first of all, as an academic, you, you would definitely like the idea that teachers have, have very deep impacts on their students. And certainly when you're studying education, you like this idea very much. And yet they just have not been able to escape from the data saying that this is simply not true. Right? So the debate within, it, within educational psychology is between the people, or is between the people who say, there's no such thing as learning how to learn, and there never will be. And people say there's no such thing as learning how to learn, but we maybe could find it. Okay, so that, that, is, that is pretty much the range of debate. In terms of whether or not the signaling model of education describes the real world, it doesn't matter which side is right. So you say, look, in terms of understanding what's going on right now, what's going on right now is not learning, and people are not learning how to learn, because it basically just doesn't happen. And right? it's so rare that you don't see it in the data. Okay. All right, so signaling models have been widely dismissed on these a priori grounds, but uh, when you look further at the facts, uh, the, the, the a priori objections are just poorly thought out or often just you know, do not have the data behind them. Okay? But signaling models do explain some otherwise very puzzling facts. Okay? And uh, the a priori objections really only apply to the very simplest, uh, the very simple, very, very much, to the most simple-minded versions of the theory. When you go and extend the theory to, or you know, extend the theory to consider that people may be signaling multiple traits, and that, and, and you, you bring in additional evidence from, you know, from, from educa educational psychology about whether or not there really is such a thing as learning how to learn, to what extent is it, really, is, is it real. Uh, turns out the a priori theories really don't hold water, and there is almost no reason to, to reject the signaling model other than uh, it would wind up making a lot of teachers feel like their lives are not nearly as meaningful as they thought, but you know, tough luck.